want to be more. Yeah. It's Brett here, Mountain Bike More, and I'm here at the Nick Center in Laguna Beach. Today is Bomber Ridge Open Access Day. Once a month, we get these days, and they open up trails for us. So today, I hope to ride Rabbit Run. Now, Rabbit Run, I've only gone up it, and it's a down, so it should be fun. To add to the spice, is last time I had the Velofix crew look at my bike, they suggested trying different pads. I run uh, Shimano XT brakes and Shimano SL SLX brakes, so they suggested a few other brands to try. And they said, start with the resin ones, work your way up. Well, of course, I didn't listen. I went straight to the Gelfer pads, the high performance pads, and loved them. Well, I wore them out. So now I'm on a new set, different company. Not so sure yet, feels a little soft to me, but we'll go find out. Hope you like it, mountain bike more. Okay, so getting to Rabbit Run is not the easiest thing to do. No e-bikes, no dogs. Uh, leaving the Nick Center, it's going to be a bit of a ride along Laguna Canyon area. Not a bad ride, so we'll get there. But there's options of getting here. Uh, last time I did it, I parked at Quail Hill. You can actually park at the official trailhead on these uh, open access days. But for me, coming from South Orange County, Nick Center seemed like the best option. So it'll take a bit. We'll get there eventually. All right, so we're at Rabbit Run. It says trail closed except on scheduled programs, and that is today, an open access day. We're two and three quarters miles away. There's the camera. Two and three quarters miles away from Nick Center, about 25 minute pedal. Not pushing, not taking it super easy either. So far, the trail is pretty. I've read that it's a little loose right now, so we can't go too fast. I'm sure you want me to go fast, so I'll end up sliding off the trail, but I'm going to try to hold it together. A little rut down the middle. It's October, so these ruts are developing. Got probably another month till we get a storm, but one never knows. And I won't lie, I'm a little nervous for the end. I remember it being sketchy when I had good dirt, and with this rut, Oh, I could have gone in it. Definitely learning to ride in ruts is an important skill here in Southern California. And I do not have that mastered. Look at those rocks. Woo! So by going slow, you can kind of see the trail. I'm sure guys rip through this and know it better. Get some hero dirt. They'll drop. All right, little incline. So on my way here, I came across two groups. Looked like one group was about 30 strong. They were going over to Cattle Crest Trail. The other group was a lot smaller. And I think they were there too. So we might see them in the bottom because all these trails end up together and we all take the same up. So if I'm successful, we might see them. All right, this looks like a little climb with some loose rocks. You might have to hike it with the loose traction. Ah, ah, yep. All right, so I'm sure you've heard me say this. Hiking is part of biking. Saw an Instagram post this morning saying just that. It's not a failure, just another way to get around. Ooh, I'm tired. We had a great bike park season this year. So I feel like my legs are a little weaker 
than normal. But that's okay. More days at the bike park, more fun. All right. Oh, a little morning marine layer in the distance. I can feel it. And the moisture in the air. It's a hot October day. And it's just sluice, rocks. Pretty. But don't let this fool you. This trail has a spicy ending. That's why I got my knee pads on. My shock is open. And I got a little puckering already going on. Morning, just one. Thank you. It's open access day, so there's hikers. Should have gone off that rock. Usually that's the best avenue or line to take. Some little rocks here. Uh. Little wheel spin back there. Nothing like a little burnout on a pedal bike to throw you off balance. Morning. Good morning. Just me. Oh, I'm Timmy Moore. Yeah. Hi. Good morning. Oh my gosh. Gotta get a picture. Oh, sure. All right, a little rest for the wicked. Get some sweat down the glasses. Here we go. Anticipation kills me as I get older. Not a young little kid anymore that's like, wee! I know when there's gnar coming and, ooh, get a little freaked. All these loose rocks. That section's cool. Love to hit it with more speed. Yeah, this part's really fun. All right, number four. Ooh, look at that rat. All right, you can see the canyon drops off. It's real pretty right here. So we know it's gonna get steeper. And Trail Forks calls this an up. It's definitely a down. Uh, I don't know how to switch that, but if you do, maybe switch it for people. Just ran into two bikers that came up it, very similar to the way I did it the first time. And this is not an easy up, nor do I want to come across someone coming up it in the NAR section. That's the beginning of the NAR section. Sometimes it's best to hit the rocks. Woo! Oh, I shouldn't have sketched. All right, here we go. We're walking down the rocks. Not easy walk. Some hikers just came up and like, it's not that far. They're right. See a tire track right here on this rock, about one foot. And one foot. And then you got this turn. So this would be where you'd catch your speed. Control. Here's another steep section. Hard left turn. 
and then another steep section onto a slab that looks rad so you come onto the slab and then you gotta turn left you go down the slab here Okay. Oh, I should have done it. I just can live to fight another day. Oh. I got this. All right, so Rabbit Run is definitely rideable. Uh, those of us entering our 50s are almost there. Might think twice, but it all rolls. I mean, maybe a foot, maybe 16 inches are some of the rollovers. Up here, we're gonna end up sliding onto the rock. If So hopefully we can maintain some traction. Oh, this is a turn I can't figure out how to make. Yep, got stuck. So that turn is tough. So definitely some technical riding needed here. Hopefully I'm not ruining your view. All right. Keeping it slow. And here we go. Little drop here, but it's rollable. And then right into the rut. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Rabbit Run has a great ending. It's just, are you gonna go for it or not? I didn't today. Maybe another day I will. I'm sure many of you do and you love that kind of stuff. It's definitely doable. Uh, I know I walked away from Camarillo a few years ago and now Camarillo, I'm looking forward to it today. I'm on the way home. So way back to the car, but hope you like this. Hope it helps. Remember there's no shame in hiking, especially, you know, on days where you're thinking, hey, better safe than sorry. That's definitely true because you're gonna get 40, 50 days of riding in on a regular, you know, every year. And if you get hurt, you gotta miss out on some. Well, I hope you like this video. I hope it helps. I hope I didn't embarrass myself by hiking, which definitely I didn't. Um, I know some of you young bucks are like, ah, oh, you should've done that, but always safe is better. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe, leave me comments. If you wanna tease me, go for it. If you see me on the trail, yell, no! I'll stop and chat. All right, so this is Shady Oaks single track. All right, so after a wrong turn, I think we get to turn around and go back down something we just hike a bike up. Oh, it's a lot more challenging with all the loose rocks. Oh, I wanna hit the big rock. I don't wanna go in the hole. Whew. You always look and you go, oh, I wanna go in the hole because it's a smaller roll, but no. Jeez, I can't make that turn. Trails here are a little rowdy at the bottom of the canyon, as you can tell. Whew. Oh. All right, let's get going the right way. All right, so we're looking for Shady Oaks single track. It's not as simple up, but it's not nearly where you have to hike a bike everything. So here's our sign, Shady Oaks single back, Shady Oaks single track. Read the signs down here. It's easy to make a wrong turn. I'm on. All right, so we're pedaling back up Shady Oak single track. We made a wrong turn. Rabbit run. I failed on it twice. Well, I just aborted. Uh, I don't think it's much more difficult than Camarillo in that one section. 
it's just it's tight there's visual obstacles there's some turning obstacles and there's like four little sections so that bottom section of route run is an easy black diamond if not a double black diamond you can hike it pretty quickly um, or you can send it and it does look like there's that optional slab line that would be rad for those of you that are slab riders all right so one of the benefits of parking at nick's center is you get to come down camarillo if camarillo is not party not your cup of tea you can go all the way around through willow it's a bit longer but definitely no tech we have this cool little rock garden here that if you know you're going to make it you make it kind of like what i think rabbit run would be like oh, and i didn't quite make it cleanly And you think you made the hard part and then you got this part here faster is easier but easier to slide off too so there we go that's the highlight of camarillo for me for some people you hike it and the only thing left will be that darn stagecoach climb mountain bike more ride more subscribe laugh more like Crash more. Comment. Crash more. Comment.